So as you can see, it's a bit gloomy today. I think I'm actually going to stay inside. I do have a plan for today. I think I'm going to show you guys some of my cameras that I use and the cameras that I've used in the past. So it should be fun to dive into. Alright, so this is my lineup of cameras that I've used from past to present. That is my most recent camera. So here's a sort of an aerial view of them. So you can see the differences in size. So let's start with the point-and-shoot cameras here. This is actually the very first point-and-shoot camera that I ever used. This is a Canon PowerShot SD1000. It still works. However, the, uh, I guess the viewfinder screen on the back doesn't work anymore. So I had to get a new one. Um, and that's when I decided to go with this guy here, the Sony TX5. And it's a waterproof camera. Um, and it's done pretty well. It's uh, survived many, uh, I guess, falls. But uh, it doesn't work. It does work, but it has it's, it really has no use anymore for underwater. So you can see here it's broken on the bottom. It doesn't close anymore. So I just have it here now for history purposes. I don't really have any use for it. And then I bumped to this bowl of a camera. This is the Sony RX100. This is the very first model. I believe there are four models of this camera now. And uh, this poor guy has been through some abuse. Uh, I used this when I went to Japan. It has fallen down on cement quite a number of times. You can see all the damage on this side here. but. It surprisingly still works. There you can see all the damage there and that the screen is heavily scratched. As you can see there on the bottom and stuff, but it's just damage is done everywhere. So I need to get a new one of these eventually. And while I was in Japan I bought one of these for like ten bucks. Just wraps around your neck so it doesn't fall. Wish I had that in the beginning of my trip so that wouldn't do that anymore. But uh, it also probably helped, would have helped if I didn't have a crappy $20 selfie stick that broke and it fell on the cement in Shibuya, in the Shibuya crossing area. That was fun. But anyway, this camera does take some amazing photos and videos. Um, I'm thinking about actually getting the, the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, there's a lot of YouTubers seem to use it for vlogging, and it seems to be like a really nice camera. However, I don't know how, how the dur durability is. The durability of this camera is amazing. It's taken two falls on, like I said, two falls on cement, cement sidewalks. So that's pretty amazing that it still works like a charm after that. So Moving on here, these are my two camcorders. So this here is the Canon Vixia HF10. This is the very first camcorder that I ever bought. And it worked very well. The battery life is spectacular. I did buy an extra battery and it still works amazingly, so I'm probably going to hang on to it for quite a while. Um, I actually filmed videos in Japan there as well, and my dad took this to his trip to Vietnam and Korea. There, He took some really beautiful footage there. And then I decided to purchase this guy. It's much smaller in size, as you can see. This is the Panasonic. So this is the Panasonic HDC SD80. And that camera's taken quite a bit of abuse as well. You can see all the scratches on here. But I don't think I ever dropped this one. I usually like to try to keep my cameras in mint condition, but you know, sometimes shit happens and things fall and break, and even though you don't really mean to. But uh, yeah, I took this one to Japan with me uh, last year, or 2015, and it worked really well. I got some really nice footage with it, and the battery life is spectacular. It lasts at least two hours um, per charge, so that's awesome. 
So moving on here, this is my very first DSLR purchase. I got the Rebel T3i. This is a very good beginning purchase for people who want to get into photography or DSLR photography and this really helped boost my DSLR skills so got some really nice photos with this when I was in Japan. And then I moved on to this guy. This guy is now my current camera, the EOS 80D. Let's see, I bought this in 2016, uh, April 2016, and I'm taking beautiful shots with this. It has the highest megapixel uh, on the market so far, I think, anyway. I don't know if there's been any new ones since then, but as far as I know, it's the highest megapixel Canon camera in the market. So that's pretty cool. Taking beautiful pictures with this. So I'm very pleased to have this camera. I got it for, I think, 1600 at Costco with two lenses and a camera bag and a camera card. 32 gigabyte. So that is everything, you guys. That is my camera collection. I hope you all thought this was interesting. I'm actually recording this video with my phone. So, we'll see how this turns out. Anyway, I think I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all next time.